Having said that, well, what would we do in 2011? It may be different than what we originally thought. We originally thought the, the CCRC, then we restructured it and there was an assisted living, and then no one bid on that, when who knows what will happen in 2011. 2011, we may restructure it again. It may be a different mix of what we do with the land. So I can't, I could, I guess I'm, I'm telling you, we're going to hold on to it, we're going to pay the bills, and we're going to see what, what happens in the next uh, 12 months or so. In the meantime, as Pastor Freeborn alluded to, I think we ought to claim that land a little bit more to our purposes, because we have not done that uh, over the, the past uh, couple of years. So we're going to invest a little in the land. Uh, the plan is to use a memorial, and, and these the details still need to be work, worked out, but we'll either be using a memorial or some other funding to build a pavilion out there that can be multi-purpose used by uh, Boy Scouts, uh, uh, youth groups. Um, pick pickings. Uh, pick pickings. Pick pickings. Uh, picnics. We, we won't have that in place for this year's picnic, but again, our, our hope is that in the next year we use that land a lot more to our advantage and, uh, and grow on that land. And, and again, in that regard, there may be some other things that open up in people's minds or other avenues of, uh, you know, we have a community event out there and all of a sudden the right people come and see that land and we get some kind of response. Don't know. But that's kind of the plan, is to claim that land a little bit more to our purposes in the next uh, 12 months or so. So we're not acquiring any more at the time to make the, to make the ultimate. We're not acquiring more property. We're not looking for more property. If it falls in our hands, we won't have enough to figure it out. Well, right. I'll tell you what. There is a property, the Bridgman property, right. which would be very, very strategic. It was always a strategic property to us. And Pastor Stowe had already made some very preliminary inquiries into that regard and said that he would like first rights of refusal. We have not gotten that in writing, and we've talked about maybe having some additional discussions with Bridgman. So there would have to be some very key deliberations if that property did come, become available, because that was a linchpin property for the entire CCRC, and, and even for the Life Center, because in reality, the Life Center was more on that piece of real estate than it was on any of the others. So we might have to really look at that and, you know, if worst comes to worst, we might have to carve up the land and sell a portion of it in order to, to get revenues for that. I don't know. You know, that, that's still to be determined. But right now, we're not actively looking for any additional property. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we don't want to pay any more, uh, you know, bills in that regard. However, if that Bridgman property came, became available, we really need to sit, seriously consider it. And historically, that is huge because of where it is. Right. It's and right next to the school, yes. right next to the ball field. Access mm -hmm. is, is fantastic yeah. over there. We don't, you know, 2011 could be the year for the Richmond property. Could be. Could be. Yeah, it could be. And, and we would need to uh, congregationally really make a, a we right. need to really think about what we're doing. And we may need to reinvigorate a capital funding approach to do that. We would probably have to do cash. I mean, I, I think, you know, our reality is right now, given our, given our economic circumstances, we are maxed out. Right. We are maxed out. So, I'd be playing a lot of lotto. <laughs> <laughs> but we may, I, if something like that came about, and it was really the right thing to do, and we didn't have any other opportunities in terms of where we could get that revenue from, we may have to do some kind of spirit day or spirit event at in the congregation and try and, and raise the money, uh, as Pastor Pridwood said, from, from a cash perspective. I don't know. But uh, just be aware of that the Richmond property is a key yeah. property and we really need to, if that comes about, you know, we have to we have to react to that. Okay, so that's uh, that's kind of where we're at on the land. Um, Any thoughts on the soccer field for the fall? For the land? Is that one of your plans? When you talk about the development part of it? It's, it's been in my mind. Yeah. Um, <laughs> candidly, my, one of my first concerns is that, is that we get um, reconnected with the land, which means that, that I'm going to be looking at certain experienced, competent persons like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> is this reminiscent of what I was like? <laughs> But we need, we need to clean it up and get it ready. And, you know, I, I think that, that 
that is a glorious piece of land. And, and while we're waiting upon the Lord, and that's what we're doing here, wait upon the Lord, to not make some good use of it, but just, it's just silly. Mm -hmm. So, especially with the talent pool that we have in this congregation. We need to uh, reclaim it. Right? We need to reclaim it. Right. We need to get out there. And, it's ours. That's right. So that, and that's that's our plan for for this year. I think that would be spiritually so so healthy for us. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it'd just be good to, good to do. So I'm looking forward to that. And I, we'll need obviously we'll need a lot of leadership for that. That's all I have on my list. And, okay, Joe. Uh, with this that dredging filling in Lake Wood, I don't know. Do considering it. Maybe an opportunity to do it again? Yes, there we're keeping that option open. And now the difficulty is that if we reclaim the land for our purposes, we're going to be competing to a certain extent, extent with the dredging operations. So we've got to, but we are, we look for every opportunity for that to be a revenue generation. Once I can trust that, my construction interest. Right, right. But to answer your question, Keith is always looking for opportunities to get revenue by allowing people. And you're, and you're looking at putting some more roading. Road he already got that in there. Well, what, what what we're doing? We're working on the east side of the pit, and this material we just put in on the northeast quadrant. Uh, what we want to do is slope the edge of the pit, and we've got a slope develop now. We've been dumping stuff in there for four years, and it just popped out. So, you know, as soon as I start seeing those slopes develop, and we'll have to stop the drip the fill on, on the east side. So that means we'll need to get to the west side if we want to reclaim the pit into the lake. So that's going to entail us to create the uh, road around the pit so we can get the material over there. So that, that could be an expense for us if we have to decide. And that's part of what we have factored in uh, right. to the discussion as far yeah. as but, but on the reclamation, it's really a construction site over there. So there's going to be a, a conflict between church usage and the reclamation because you got trucks and bulldozers going around. It's, it, it's really a construction site. So we have to factor all those issues in. Glory day finesse strikes again, right? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Right. Thank you. Okay, we have about five minutes. Well, thank you once again. This is been a very good dialogue. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate your input. Let's close with a prayer of Pastor's free form religion. Lord be with you. Also also with you. you. Gracious Lord, I give you thanks for the leadership of this congregation, especially in our time of transition. You have wonderful opportunities that you have in store for us in the future. And you've blessed us in the past and in the present, and we know you'll bless us in the future because you're our God. So we ask you, Lord, to, to show us your way and enable us to have a patience, a holy patience, as we wait upon you, O oh Lord. Thank you for all these ideas. Thank you for the rich variety of opinion and uh, the diversity that we are as a people here at Gloria Day. But forge us together in unity as we follow the Christ and march out strongly to lift high the Christ and to celebrate the resurrection. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.